started welcome everybody this is going to be fun i'm really excited about this one and i have to say i have to thank whatnot for this they've kind of they kind of got me going on this retro stuff blame them First giveaway's already started. If you are new to the app or up there, right there, there's a giveaway. That's where you can enter the giveaway. I think you've got to be following me. I can't Sales too, because we can do both. And so I'm going to do some loose car sales with some of these Premier and World Class Matchbox. And we're going to kind of see where we go. And I want to see your comments as well, because I mean, I'm, I'm hoping we can, you know, I, I've said this before when I do these sales, I'm by myself and doing two things at once is so hard, so hard. So like, I've got to make sure I'm doing the, the giveaways, make sure I'm doing the sales, but I also want to talk to you guys, see your comments. Um, like diecast Jeff saying, we didn't realize we had a similar start to collecting. Oh yeah. We can talk about this. Cause this, I was very matchbox heavy as a kid. And um, Hot Wheels pulled me in later as a collector with some of the things they did, but we can talk about that later. Nonetheless, we're going to do some sales. So like this car, I'll start the sale. I'll start the auction on this Mercedes here in a minute. Um, if you're on YouTube, because I think I'm simultaneously streaming on YouTube, there should be a QR code that you can hit if you want to come over and bid or try and win some of these giveaways. So you want to come over to whatnot and do that. So um so definitely you are invited to do that. One other thing while we're while we're starting here, I'm going to go maybe 45 minutes to an hour. This is a whole part of what not rewind this weekend. They've already been doing it since Thursday. I'm going to send you over to Vintage Drop Shop. Mark's got a ton of stuff. Um, he does obviously a ton of die cast and he's doing a lot of Hot Wheels. So this is going to be very Matchbox heavy today. But if you are into the Vintage Hot Wheels, I'm sending you right over. You don't even have to do anything. You're going to go over there when we're done. Um, he'll have a ton of stuff on there. Um, and uh and mark's great and so uh so i'll i'll do that what well, my question that i want to ask you guys because there's been a lot of interest in some of these cars that i've been showing a lot of questions and i want to do giveaways that's what most of these are going to be but uh where is this here give me a second but some of these cars like and i want to see your comments like the mazda rx7 the toyota super and stuff I can put these up for giveaway. Obviously, someone is going to be very, very happy. But if people want to go after these and, you know, and have me sign them, whatever, whatever, uh, as part of a sale, let me know. And I'll put them up for auction. I like I'm good either way. But sometimes it's like the one who wants it the most would get it if we did it via auction. Obviously, with the giveaways, it's going to be someone at random. So let me know. I'll do either thing. Um and uh you guys can tell me what to do so i have about i have a bunch of world class and some of the there's cars that i'm definitely giving away no matter what and then um that you're going to be kind of fun we'll do those first and then we'll kind of see where we're going because i'm going to do these loose car sales so i'm going to do some auctions as well we'll start with this mercedes world class mercedes now i'm going to tell you these are loose these are matchbox from the 80s and 90s and None of these, I mean, there might be some that are considered perfect, but I would never say any of these are perfect. There's like, these are prone to little paint chips here and there. I will obviously like this one, little mark there. I, I've learned as I, you know, I've started this eight dot collection, a little paint chip in there. I, you, if you want one without, it's going to be very, very hard to get. Um, and so, I mean, take that with a, you know, understand like most of these look really, really good. And to the naked eye, they look fantastic. If you start getting into the super details, you're going to see a little this and that. Um, but that's kind of comes with it. And I think there's a little charm to that. Right. So there's vintage drop shop. Hey, Mark, what's up? Um, and uh, so I just I just want you to know that some of these are really, really cool. And I'll let you know if I see anything really drastic on these because these are obviously part giveaways whatever you get is what you get <laughs> they're all good they're all packaged what i'm giving away today but uh who knows all right so let's start this is the mercedes 500 sec world class i actually have two of them i'm still debating whether i'm going to sell the second one um these are let's see what i'm going to do here i'll try and see your comments so 
Viper in the back is the giveaway. Mercedes in the front is the auction. Try and do these fairly quick. So there we go. Testarossa 8 dot is the goat. I totally agree. Um, oh, let's find out who's winning the Viper. K squared, the Viper is yours. If you guys want me to sign these, um, just uh, send me a, a private message. And then, Jake, you won the Mercedes. Okay, see, this is where I have to, like, this is where I'm really bad about doing two things at once. Let's get another giveaway going. Okay, this is the stuff that I, I'll show, I'll show this off in a second. Um, so, Mercedes-Benz. They call it the Mercedes-Benz 600S here. It's also the S, what, S-E-L or S-L. This is uh, this is one that I did. Uh, hopefully you saw the showcases um, that I did. That, uh, sorry, see, this is why I'm bad. I'm so bad at this. Um, oh, you know what? I started the giveaway. I actually had this one marked, so... It's just going to be giveaway number two. Sorry, guys. Uh, anyway, did the video on the eight dots, did a video on the premiere and world class. If you haven't seen those on YouTube, you should definitely go and check them out. Um, because like, these are the cars that I did collect as a kid, the eight dots, the, uh, well, I said, and I'll talk about the 928. Anyway, as I was getting older, I wouldn't say that I had a collection. Um, but all right, Lamborghini is the next auction. This is so bad. I, you know, Mark, if you're watching, I get so jealous. You, you, I don't know how you guys do this. I don't know how you do it. Um, anyway, the Mercedes. So as I was getting older, like, as I, was, I mentioned this as a kid, I don't care if they're matchbox hot wheels, they're mostly matchbox, but, um, I would, uh, I would just play with cars, crash cars, whatever. I remember when I had one of those Hot Wheels that crashes, and uh, and they would, um, you know, I didn't care if there were cars or cars, right? So I'm just gonna keep keep these going. Cars were cars, but as I was getting older, that's you know like the origins of my collection, right? Is when I shit, sorry, I'm dropping everything. I need to have my daughter help me this so I can actually talk. I'm so bad at this. Anyway, as I got older, I would start collecting cars. The Mercedes-Benz S and SEL and some of these others I'm going to show you are cars from that era that uh, that where I actually started actually collecting. Pay P job. Congratulations, that is yours. Let's do uh, let's do another Corvette. Anyway, so yeah, so it was later on, I was like, okay, these are kind of cool. So it was the eight, I was like the Mercedes, it was the BMW. Um, these were the, like, these were the kind of cars, the eight dot cars that I really started liking. And so, okay, anyway, I, you know what? This is terrible. This is terrible. I always think I can talk and do something at the same time. And I just can't some of you sellers are so good at this i just got to make sure i get everything right get everything numbered right and we're doing this giveaway from the mercedes anyway the mercedes benz s this car bmw ferrari testarossa ferrari f40 these are the cars that i started like going okay these represent hey sean what's up man i hope you got the uh hope you got the uh cars i sent you um anyway Anyway, I've got a few of these Corvettes. We'll just kind of work through them. So what I hope is with, um, you know, with the audience I have, 
there can be an appreciation for these cars. If you saw the post I did yesterday, I said that, uh, yeah, Hot Wheels in the, in the 20s is just Matchbox in the 90s. And there is some truth to that, I think. Um, they were doing a lot of cool cars. And yeah, there's, there's like just the design, the way that, that these designers can design today is different. And I think, you know, the cars are better quality from the aesthetic department. Some people don't like the fact that, you know, it's a lot of plastic chassis and things like that. Um, and, uh, wait, did I do this one? Nope. So anyway, there's just a lot of cool cars and it's cool. It's fun to go back. And I've really enjoyed, I've said what, what not kind of, um, G back. I don't have any Mustangs today. I don't think, I don't think. Anyway, whatnot said, hey, we want to do this rewind thing. And I, uh, I said, yeah, I think I've got something that I would uh, be interested in doing. I could go back into the cars that I collected as a kid. I'm not terribly nostalgic, as I've said, but this has been really fun to revisit. And I've kind of gone, OK, these cars are a lot more quality than I thought, you know, like or than I remember. And they're kind of, you know, they're very much. Let's get those see the winner of the uh, of the Mercedes here in a second. And then we'll do the auction for this one. So it's been really fun to revisit, and that kind of motivated me. I'm going to do my eight dot collection. Do I have guys? Your names. <laughs> Congratulations, person with uh, who has a. You can talk to a doctor about that problem if you need to um all right okay this one will be a fun giveaway let's get that started Okay, this is for the Porsche. This giveaway is for the Porsche 959. Diecast Jeff won the teal Corvette. Congratulations. Um, okay, Porsche 928. So I mentioned, and I'll actually just talk real for a second. My first cars, the Hot, you know, Hot Wheels Matchbox, is almost all Matchbox as a, as a little, little kid. But my earliest memory of a car that I actually liked, that I would carry around, that I would put in my pocket, that I would I would treat more carefully um, is this Porsche 928. I remember it so distinctly, and I actually I was at my mom's house um, earlier and this week, and I totally forgot I was going to actually look to see if um, if I could uh, if I could find it. You know, if she had an old bin or something like that, and I actually just totally forgot. So, um, so if I find it, I'll actually photograph it because it would be really cool. It's got to be somewhere. But if I if I lost it, I lost it because I like I said, I don't I I don't I don't feel particularly particularly nostalgic about things. I'm not I'm not totally attached to things, and I feel as a collector that's good because then you can get rid of things when you need to. So, um, but. This is the car I have a very distinct memory of. I, the opening doors, the interior, everything about it. And so I acquired this one for this giveaway so I could give away this car. I hope that whoever wins it um, will ask me to sign it. Because this one, this one does have a, an attachment to me, uh, the Porsche 928. I don't know if I have a love for the Porsche 928 in general, but I did think this car was super, super cool. So if you're, remember, if you're bidding, you're bidding on the orange Corvette. If you're in the giveaway, which is right there, that's what you're entering for is for the Porsche. Scratch Dresser, congratulations. This Corvette is yours. World class. So, yeah, so this Porsche, I was like, this Porsche is cool. I remember it as a kid. You know, while we're doing it, why don't we just do an auction for the world class? So I dug it, and then that's what kind of begins, you know, then I get older. Then I get 10 and 11. I start noticing more cars. You know, cars are not just cars. Now I'm, you know, remembering the cars that I like 
and I like, I'm looking at cars on the road and I'm starting to dig them. And of course you're, you know, you're seeing posters and you learn about things like Ferrari 308s and GTOs. And so it starts happening. Right. And then you start becoming a fan. So like, as I'm like 10, 11, 12, now I'm more discerning about the cars I want here. Here's a 928 world-class mirrored windows. Pretty cool. Um, you know, that's when that kind of starts. And so it was those eight dot cars that I started getting into. You're bidding on the 928 world class right now, if you're interested. Um, oh, once I start it, there we go. So, um, so anyway, so I, so definitely the 928 is an origin car. This is definitely like it bridged into where I started becoming more discerned about the cars I want. And at that time, you know, as I was becoming into early teens and my interests were definitely not toy cars, but I did like real cars. I was actually going to, um, seller Sam, congrats. I was going to, you know, this, you know, like the store and I'd be like, okay, I want a small replica of, you know, a Ferrari or something like that. And so, you know, and then 1990 rolls around, I'm 16 years old, the 300 ZX comes out and I'm just definitely obsessed with that car and I wanted to find versions of it that I could. So, so that was really important that I do that. So, so this is the, so that's definitely the entry point car. Let's do another Porsche. And I remember the 928, here's the 944. This is pretty sweet. So I remember like the 928 or, the, and then uh, 959 I had as a kid, I put that in the eight dot collection. Um, so I wouldn't call it a collection per se, because I wasn't collecting a lot of things, but I wanted cars that replicated the cars I liked on the road. And, you know, that definitely, congratulations, ma'am. Nice to see you here. 944 is yours and it's awesome. Check this thing out. These cars are really cool. Obviously the tires on these with the world class and the premier, sometimes they're a little wide, but it gives them kind of a cool, that one's kind of sticking out, but it gives them a cool menacing look. But, you know, like this is, these are the origins of, you know, Hot Wheels had their real riders, Matchbox did the premier tires. And you kind of see how this evolved into, uh, into, uh, so let's see who won the 928. Brando STL, congratulations. That is yours. If you want me to sign it, I'll try and see if it fits in a protector or something. I think it will. Um, I'll keep it nice and protected. Just let me know. All right. So if we're doing the origins, right, then the Porsche, the Porsche was super significant. Uh, the, and then let's, let's actually put them both at the same time. Nine, the Porsche 928, then the Porsche 959. And then I mentioned in 1990, the 300ZX comes out. Hot Wheels does one's terrible. Go look at the 300ZX from Hot Wheels. It was terrible. The new one's great, but the old one I hated. And but the matchbox was awesome, and they did the yellow eight dot, which I don't have. It was supposed to arrive in time and it didn't, so maybe I'll do a different auction. But, um, the uh, do this giveaway here. This is what we're doing now world class 300ZX. This thing's so rad. Um, I have a loose one, I might, I might put it on the auction. We'll see. This is like it's like a pearl white color. So anyway, they put out the 8 dot version of the 300 ZX Matchbox did and then they put out this world class version very soon afterwards and I thought this was the coolest car. So this would have been like a pocket car. Again, while I'm more interested in music, I'm more interested in movies, I'm more interested in folks of the opposite sex, um other things, but I did like cars and I did love the 300 ZX. It was my favorite car by a mile. So I I would seek out matchbox versions of this car and this premiere in the pearl white was a must have. And so this one runs significant. So I bought a package one so I could give it away. So that's what you're going for now. Speaking of significant cars, here's the world class 928. I'll put that one up. All the world class had, um, mirrored windows. And then when they went to premiere, which we'll get to that stuff, they moved to actual, I mean, I don't, you can't say actual glass, but clear plastic. 
to mimic more realistic windows. But I kind of, you know, the mirrored windows aren't realistic, but there's kind of a nut, again, because of the nostalgic nature of these cars, there's kind of a charm to these that I think is really cool. You kind of see the details on these. And like I said, there might be, these were just done a little bit differently. So there's, you know, these are older and these were loose. So there could be some, you know, this little this and that's in there. You know what I didn't tell? I didn't tell the story. Sip, sip, congratulations. You've got the 959. Here, let me put up, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put up this loose 300 ZX. So your the giveaway right there is for the packaged one. If you want to buy this loose one, I'll put it up. And I'll tell you the story about what happened to my original. I don't have it anymore. I actually kept that one. Here, I'll put this auction up. We'll start it now. Um, I gave it to Mattel. Mattel was looking for some cars for a display. This was a few years ago and they wanted to do kind of a history of Matchbox. And I was like, like I said, I'm not, I'm not very nostalgic. And I was like, you know, this is my original and I don't want it any, like, I don't have any much use for it. So what if it had a great legacy of going to Mattel and being part of their display? So I gave it to someone who was putting this together and I've never seen it since. <laughs> I haven't seen the display. I don't think they did it. So I have no idea. It might be in a pile of just like prototypes in at Mattel. And there was a bunch of us that donated them. I don't know what happened to it. And so the original, the one that I had as a kid, you know, as a teenager that I kept through the years, Went to Mattel and I have no idea if it's there. So if anybody's watching from Mattel and you happen to go into like the archives and find a bag of like a bunch of old Matchbox and there's one of these world class 300 ZXs in there, it's mine and I kind of want it. Like give it back. Unless you're going to display it, then that'd be awesome. That's kind of a cool legacy. Uh, Ma'am, congratulations. This one is yours. So yeah. So I don't know where it is. Optic Zoom has the yellow version of 300ZX. I actually, I'm not, uh, I'm not selling this one. This one I actually bought, and it came the package ripped on the way. So, guys, I'll, I'll obviously, if I'm sending these to you, I'll make sure it's very well protected. But I am actually putting this in my collection along with the BMW. It's already in my collection, the BMW 5 Series. I was trying to find one of these that I could give away, and I couldn't get one, which is a bummer. Because that's a really nice, it's a really nice uh, premiere. Okay. Let's see who's going to win the uh, giveaway for the package 300ZX is going to happen here. Just a second, we'll keep the auctions going after that. I think we've got, we've got a few more loose cars and then, and then we're going to get to some pretty cool stuff. I want everyone a chance to like, I've got one more, one more of the, well, we'll just see as we, okay, let's see who won this one. I'm very curious. LZ1069P, congratulations. This is yours. If you want me to sign it, send me a message, but it is yours. All right. One more that we're going to run through some giveaways on the world, on the uh, premiere and we'll do some others. Okay, this is the car that I, I think I may have had one or two of these as a kid, but I don't remember them too well. This is like what would something just be in the pile, and I've gained a super, super appreciation for this car since. It's the 500 SCC by Matchbox. It's awesome. I found this one packaged, wanted to keep it that way. I've got a loose one in my 8-dot collection, but this is fantastic. Great, great casting. Now, obviously, when I ship it, it's going to be you know loose in the package, but I'll try and protect it as much as I can there's no flaps on these that you can open once you open them you open them so we're going to make that the next giveaway so definitely enter there and we'll continue our loose car sale how about our ferrari 308 another casting i remember as a kid 
Oh, you want to see something cool? So I've, I've documented this one. Our backyard, first, co- first few months of COVID, I remember in 2020, I'll start this auction uh, for the, uh, what is this one called? Ferrari 308 GTB. Here, I'll show you this if I can reach it. So our first months of COVID, I just remember this. Um, start the auction. Our backyard was being redone. And as they were as they were ripping up everything in the backyard, they found a couple of things. And one of them was a Ferrari, a Matchbox Ferrari. <laughs> this was found in our backyard. And this is an 80s car. So a kid who used to live at this house had it out there. It's full of dirt in the windows. Isn't that cool? Ma'am 671, congrats. Anyway, I've always, I've wondered what to do, but I've had this on display in my office for a while. And uh, I've just kind of left it. I don't want the, like, it just, it's just full of dirt and paint and well, paint flakes and everything else. But yeah, who knows how long it was out there. Kind of cool. All right, another Ferrari. The classic, the GOAT. As we, as it's been said, let's get that Mercedes in there. Testarossa World Class. So there's, they did a red Premier, which I don't have, um, but this is the World Class, and uh, a little wide in the wheels on the front, but oh, sorry, I didn't start yet. But still really cool. I'm like a cool historic piece, especially since Mattel doesn't have the Ferrari license anymore. Maybe one day they will, and maybe Matchbox and Hot Wheels will do Ferraris again. But but these the Matchbox Testarossa, whoever said that earlier, the Matchbox Testarossa is truly a classic. A classic. Like that and the F40. Like th- that's that's like Diecast Hall of Fame. Eric, congratulations. You got this one. The world class. Ferrari Testarossa. It's yours. Um, and let's just actually stay with the Ferrari theme. I'm oh, so I have a big, I have a big lot of eight dots coming. And so I'm taking this one out of my eight dot collection. I'm going to make it available and I'm going to do Ferrari F40. So when we talk goats, I'm going to put this in a baggie and I'll put it in the box and send it. Let's see if that stays. So when we're talking goats, Ferrari F40. And, and this one's in, like, I've looked all around. I can't find any paint chips, anything on this one. But, you know, the F40 has taken kind of a life of its own. Look at, the, look at how they did the engine, like a little chrome engine in the back. Like, plastic chassis on this, though. Um, this, is, this is classic. Like, it's, it's nostalgic, right? It doesn't have the... It doesn't have some of the sportiness that some of the, you know, that, a, you know, Hot Wheels were to take this on now or Matchbox, but you got the eight dot wheels, which are classic. You've got a great proportion here. This is a, this is much better than the Hot Wheels Ferrari F40 casting, like much, much better in my view, that opening back that they did. And it was just kind of an awkward casting. So let's do this one for auction. So this one, you're getting the eight dot. I'll put it in, I'll put it in one of these baggies and uh, ship it in its yellow box. That's its original F40 box. So you can get these, you can find these, um, which is cool. And like, they're not, you know, but they're just like really, really cool. The, you know, the Testarossa, the 959, some of these classic cars, they're totally worth getting you want to create and i and i'm really excited to kind of build up my eight dot collection so die gas jeff testeros and f40 were way better than the hot wheels they were back then they were i mean they really put the others to shame ma'am congrats that one is yours got a you'll get a fairly good sized package we're going to give away this mercedes here in a second Let's see who wins it. <coughs> Rassen God, congrats. It's yours. Okay. Put that off to the side. 
we're gonna do some quicker giveaways now. And we'll do some we'll do some sales. You guys want me to put this? One? I already put one of these up. Should I put up the other one? Why not? But for the for the giveaways now, I'm just gonna run through a bunch of these. We'll do them for like let people enter for about a minute. And then I'll do the Mercedes here. Do I have a Premier 944? I actually just sold the World Class 944. I don't think I have one in this in this pile of uh, of World Class or a premiere that I'm doing. Oh, I haven't even started the auction. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, this is for the Mercedes 500 SCC World Class. This is the one that I've had in my collection for a while. I, I acquired one to sell, and then I'm like, you know, looking for the parameters of my collection. I'm still, by the way, the purge sale is going to be starting up again. It's all set to go. Everything that I purged out of my Hot Wheels collection um, is all put aside, and it's massive. It's massive. I'll even show you. There's some there's some crazies that are going to go in here um, when I do the uh, purge sale. In SAP or in SPP, there's some there's some good stuff. Like this is the original uh, nine. This is the original nine. What do you see? I'm in Matchbox mode. What was this one called? I don't remember. That I showed way back when when I previewed it. Um, I have another one in my collection, but I've always had that one aside. All right, Mercedes, who got it? I already said, uh, congrats. That's yours. Okay, let's, uh, let's draw a winner for the premiere. And we'll do, and then we're going to do some other auctions here. Rim Jim, congrats. It's a cool one. Camaro Highway Patrol, California Highway Patrol. How about a 57 Chevy? So the giveaways for the Chevy. Auction now. I'm going to do some of the desirables here for auction so that people who want them the most can try and get them and maybe i'll do some for giveaway too but we'll have some fun with these so i'm actually going to turn this there we're going to try and do this so for auction Mazda RX-7, let me get this ready. We'll just alternate, giveaway, auction, giveaway, auction for the next few minutes and I'll take you over to Mark. So Mazda RX-7, kind of give you a sense of what it looks like. Premier packaged, nothing is mint. It's pretty crisp, but nothing is mint. I will try and protect it. I can't put these in a protector, but I'll do the best I can. To get them to get them protected so this is for the mazda rx7 anything you want signed just send me a message if you don't want it signed obviously i won't do it let's draw a winner for the uh, 57 chevy Mo, congratulations. And TRD Joker won the uh, RX-7. Okay, another giveaway. This is kind of fun for the giveaway. This is the 
Audi Avis concept car that when it came out or when it was shown as a concept, we like as car nerds, we went kind of crazy for it. Um, get that giveaway started here. Make sure I'm organized. Okay, Mercedes-Benz, call it the Mercedes GTC, but it's like the CLK, right? Do that as an auction. We're going to draw a winner in 30 seconds for the Audi as well. Mercedes casting is awesome. Very underrated casting for sure. And the wheels are flush too. Like it's really, really nice. Jake Peck, congratulations. That's yours. Let's see who won the auction or the giveaway. Eric Aldana, congratulations. Next one, 62 Corvette for the giveaway. Oh, this is going to be a fun auction. Ferrari F50 in silver. Flush wheels. You just watch Matchbox kind of like getting, like the design's getting tighter and tighter. More and more modern, if you will. Auction is for the F50. Rad car. Rad car. I'm going to give away the Corvette right now. Gaff Revolta. I hope I'm saying those right. Congratulations. Texas Highway Patrol Camaro. Next giveaway. Cruiser D, congrats. We're just going to run through these. It's kind of fun. These cars, I, I, I hope as we're doing this, um, you're getting a sense of how cool this is, how cool these cars are. And I think, you know, like we got so caught up in, in new stuff as I do too. Let's do next auction, Mitsubishi Spider. Obviously it's a 3000 GT, AKA Dodge Stealth convertible. So a little different than the Matchbox and Hot Wheels versions of the 3000 GT we see now, but this is the convertible one. Wide tires a little bit, it has the wide tire issue there, but we'll put that one up for auction. For whoever wants it the most. Yeah, these cars were great. Cruiser D, uh, send me a message. I, I can't remember off of here, but if you send me a message here on the WhatNot app to sign. Um, hey, thanks, Solis. I will definitely do it. But send me that. If you, if you ask here, I will not see it, and I'll forget to. Okay, let's give away the Camaro. I want to get through these quickly. Oval Coops, congrats. 57 T-Bird for the giveaway. Looks like we've already won the Mitsubishi. Let's do the start the giveaway. Okay, I mentioned... Um,
This will be a fun auction too. This is going to be a really fun auction. I mentioned we showed we already did the world class Ferrari Testarossa. How about the premier Ferrari Testarossa? So this one has clear windows. I don't know if it'll if you can see. I'm trying to see if it has the two tone interior. It does. So it's a it's really hard to see, but there's a black interior with red. It's black and red interior. Steering wheel is a different color. Maybe you can see that. This is fantastic. A little bit of the wide wheel problem in the front that the that all the premier uh, Testarossas had, but really really fun one and good crisp card. So not mint by any means, but we'll get that one started. Really really cool car. Matchbox did some Ferraris, not a ton. But the Testarossa, like we said, Testarossa is a classic. Let's draw a winner for the T-Bird. Shane, 9MM, congrats. Jag. Jag XK120. Cruiser D, congrats. Here's the Jag for the giveaway. Let's do the giveaway. Cruiser D, congrats on the Ferrari. Okay. We're getting there on the sales. Okay, next one, next auction. Unless you want me to give this away. You guys tell me, auction or giveaway for this one, for the Mercedes 600 SEL? Give, 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 give. Okay, lots of giveaways. We'll make this one the next one. Okay. Then we're going to do the last two auctions here, and then we'll get it. Okay, we're going to draw a winner here for the Jag. Flyers, Chris, congrats. The Jag is yours. Oops. Okay, this is for Mercedes-Benz SL. Fantastic cast. We already gave did the giveaway on the uh, eight-dot version. But let's give away this one. It's for the Mercedes. And then I have two more auctions. Both Toyota Supra. A lot of attention to this casting. A lot of people going, oh, I had no idea that Matchbox did an A80 Supra. They did a few colors. This is gold, obviously. You guys can see it. Nice card on this one. Does have a, uh, oops, does have a Walmart price tag and see what they went for. They went for about three bucks back in the day. There, I mean, it'll do that so you guys can see it. We'll do uh, we'll do one or two more giveaways and I'll send you over to Market Vintage. In fact, let's give away the Mercedes here in about 10 seconds. The super is nice. Like, really nice. Jake Peck, congrats. Supra is yours. Let's draw a winner for the Mercedes. Do one more auction, a couple more giveaways. Southpaw Consultant. All right, all right, all right. I promise. I promise. Who won that? I didn't see one. Oh, thank you, Diecast Addiction. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, I'm so bad at this sometimes. All right. Tell me which one you, you want in the next giveaway, and then we'll do an auction. You want the Thunderbird? GTO? We can do a, you know, I want to give these all away, but we, I went run out of time. Stingray 2, Diablo, Diablo, Grand Sport, Z28. 
seen Diablo, Diablo. I'm seeing a lot of Diablo. So we'll do the Lamborghini to start. There it is. Let's get this going. It's a little bit of a, it's a giveaway. So it's got a little bit of a crunched. All right. Enter quick because I'm going to, I'm going to actually 30 seconds or so I'm going to draw a winner so we can get a few. I want to get these out. I want people to win these. So. You guys, while you're doing that, I have the sticker bundles in the buy it now. I have some of the old pin bundles I've done. I have a few Hot Wheels, some Lamley exclusives. So definitely check out the store. I haven't even said that much right there um, while we're still on. Buy a sticker bundle and you can gift it to someone. We'll send it to them. Uh, there's an there's an option there. You just say you can gift it if you would like. Um, all right, I'm going to draw a winner. This is for the Lamborghini. Then I saw someone asking for the Grand Sport, so I'll put that one in. And the Thunderbird. We'll do the Thunderbird, too, because a lot of people asking about that one. But let's do that. 996 Lazar, Larzac 996. Congrats. Here's the Grand Sport. We got one more auction, too, by the way. So white supra a lot of people asking about that one so we'll do that in just a minute seeing gto you know i think we can get through all these giveaways so i'm going to give away the grand sport in 10 seconds 10 seconds these are quick giveaways four three two one We're just going, going, and going. Snap, crackle, pop. Great name. Actually, no, let's not do that one yet. Let's do GTO. We'll do the Thunderbird giveaway and the Super Auction to end. You got 20 seconds to enter this one. 20 seconds. This is for the GTO. You can tell, I'll give you a close up on it. It's pretty sweet. GTO casting is nice. It sits high, but I kind of like it. I kind of like the way it sits. A little, there's a little charm to it. All right, drawing the winner. Joy Rider 06, congrats. Okay, Corvette Stingray 3. Well, not the 2, it's the 3. So is this a kind of a concept car, I think? Maybe? It's okay. It's okay. Can't like everything, right? We're going to draw a winner in about 10 seconds on this one. We'll do one more. We'll do one more giveaway, and then we'll do this last giveaway, which is the T-Bird Turbo, Turbo Coupe, which is a fantastic fantastic great color great model the wheels actually look really good on this one draw the winner of the corvette stingray matchbox 22 how appropriate is that congrats man that is yours let's give away the camaro z28 nice casting as well i think they did a convertible and a hard top of this one this one's in green they do the police versions of course and then street version Show you a little bit of a close-up. Then we're going to finish with a bang and send you over to Mark. It's kind of fun to bu bust through these giveaways every, what, 10, 20, 30 seconds. It's kind of fun. Maybe I'll plan like a rapid giveaway show one of these days. Get 50 cents to... <laughs> Should we do a lightning giveaway show? Wouldn't that be kind of fun? Um, yeah, before we get started, I'll, and I'll draw the winner. So let me tell you what's coming up. If you haven't seen it, I've already I've already set up the show for the uh, Hot Wheels convention. I'm going to be giving away all the exclusives like I do from Hot Wheels Nationals. That's in a month. Um, so definitely bookmark that show. Obviously, Whatnot will be there with a bunch of different stuff. I've got the Purge shows. I'll be scheduling those very, very soon. They will be loaded. You guys want to see those? They're fantastic. I'm going to do a Lamley exclusive show where I'm going to – it's basically going to be like a clearance um, kind of deal. 
and uh, let's draw a winner and then we'll finish off here. Oh, you know what? Here. This is this is a bonus auction. I'm going to give you brain blasts. Congrats. Uh, if someone wants these subs, one has a bunch of chips, one has a few chips. So this is going to be an auction for both cars. And then I'm going to do the Toyota Supra. I totally forgot about these. I would set these up. It's a, it's a nice, the Saab casting is unique. Saab's a difficult license these days, apparently. So it's a unique car to get a matchbox Saab. This one's nice. It has a little bit of paint chips here and there. This one's kind of beat up. So I would say someone who wants to customize it. And I would love to see what you do. That's why I'm doing auction on this one. Um, So anybody who wants the two sobs, that's what this auction is for right now. And then we'll do the last one. Okay, this winner has been drawn. We'll get the Thunderbird auction started. I'm not auction, sorry, giveaway. So this is for the T-Bird Turbo Coupe. Yeah, Matchbox did the sob. DJ Mac, I hope DJ K Mac, I hope we'll put I'll send both of these to you. Love to see. I don't know if you're a customizer or not. You have to tell me, send me a message. Um, thanks for the tip, Mile High. That's really kind of you. Um, I want to see what someone would do with this. Like strip it. It's a really, really nice casting. Metal chassis. And I actually acquired one that's uh to add to the collection. So I want to put these up for someone who might want to do something creative with those subs because they're cool. All right. Last auction while you're doing the, well, and then we'll draw a giveaway for the, for the T-Bird, which is kind of the most underrated cool car here. The gold T-Bird. I kind of feel like I should have kept it, but too late. Um, and the last auction, white Supra. Super, super cool. Card is pretty crisp, not mint by any means. But uh, if you want this one, real rider tires with the whatever they call them, two piece tires. 25,000 made of this one. So let's put that one up for auction because I know there's a lot of interest in it. And then we'll give away the T Bird and then we'll send you over to Mark. Really, really cool car. And you got the box in there too. Didn't really talk about those. So I hope if anything, if you're bidding or winning, congrats. Um, but if you just were watching, I hope this is really gaining an appreciation for some of these classic cars. You don't have to be a retro vintage toy collector by any means, but I think it's cool for people to kind of get a sense of the history. And I'm going to do more of these Lamley Rewind features. And I'll probably do some Lamley Rewind shows here on whatnot, but I'll do features like... I was thinking like I could get into the golden age of, age of Matchbox. That's the time that I think is like 2006 to 2010 or so. Do some stuff on that, um, which I think would be really cool. I Hot Wheels, I'm not an expert on, uh, especially some of the older stuff, but maybe we can do some interviews with some people. Dr. Yancey, congrats. You have the Supra. We're going we're gonna to draw a winner for the T-Bird. And then we'll call it a day. So the T-Bird, let's do this. Then we'll send you over to Mark. So guys, send me messages. If there's things like Lamley Rewind stuff you'd like me to do, obviously, if I, if I don't have knowledge in it, I'm not going to jump into it. But I can go back like Hot Wheels from 10 years ago. I can go back to, you know, 15 years ago. I can definitely go to, um, to Matchbox Golden Age stuff. And then maybe I'll, and, and as, I'm, as I'm creating this eight dot collection of cars, I'll definitely do videos on those because those will be really fun. Maybe do something from like the Matchbox convention. All right, guys, here is the winner of the T-Bird. And then I'm going to send you over to Mark. He's got Hot Wheels. And uh, if you, you know, whoa! Two-time winner, Matchbox 22, you won again. That's some, uh, that's some real luck. Congratulations, you get two of them. Guys, I'm done. I'm done. Stay here, though, so I can send you over to Mark. There's going to be some really, really cool stuff there especially for you hot wheels guys who uh feel a little bit left out of this particular show uh we're going to send you over there so 
say hi to Mark for me. Thanks, everybody. So much to come. Go bookmark the show, and I'll schedule some other ones very soon. Bye.